I swear to God, every time I film, I sneeze. What the heck? My chair is like glued to the floor. These are the best lips. I think it just broke. What am I doing? Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite makeup products from the drugstore. Um, I will say right up front, I do have a crap ton of lip products to share with you guys. I don't own very many high-end lip products at all, so um, I would definitely say from the drugstore you can get really, really high quality um, lip products. So I have a bunch of those. I have a little bit of everything else, and yeah, so if you guys want to see my favorite drugstore products, then just keep watching. Okay, so first... Let me just start with the lips. Start out with my Milani lipsticks. Um, and they look like this. Okay, and can I just say, guys, I'm so sorry, but it's so annoying. Um, if you guys don't, you know, if you're new to my channel, you don't know that I'm normally wearing acrylic nails and my hands look at least decent. Um, I have been going up without my acrylics and I actually haven't even been painting my nails for a little while. So I'm trying to give them a break. I honestly don't think I can do it. I just want my acrylics back so bad um, because I am a nail biter, which is so disgusting and it drives me crazy. So probably in the near future, you will see me with nails on again, but please excuse my nail appearance because it ain't pretty. So I have four shades, and look at this packaging, like how beautiful is that? I love Milani's packaging. Well, the first color I have is Flamingo Pose. I don't know, should I do swatches? Do some swatches? Okay, I'll do them really quick. That's Flamingo Pose for you. And the thing I like about these lipsticks is they're super, super smooth. Like you can just see like it glides right on. It's ridiculous. And look at that color payoff. It's super highly pigmented. And the thing about these is it's kind of weird, but these smell really, really nice. It just has like a really, really nice fragrance to it. And it's not strong at all. It's not perfumey. It's just really nice. I also have the color Uptown Mauve. And this is that for you. And these are definitely like a um, more gloss, not glossy, but it's like a satin finish once it dries a little bit. It's definitely not matte, um, but it's like a satin finish. And they last really long. Um... This one is in the color Sangria. You guys have heard me talk about this one before. It is one of my all-time favorites. I really love this color. Um, if I were to just grab one lipstick and live with for the rest of my life, that would possibly be the one. Um, and this one is in Black Cherry. Probably wasn't smart to wear a white shirt while I'm doing lip swatches. Let's see how this turns out. But yeah, that's in Black Cherry right there. And like I said, they smell really good. They last forever. They um, they don't dry out your lips. So that's always a plus in my book as far as lip products go. And they do last a long time. So, okay, so moving on to the L'Oreal Lip Lacquers. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five shades of these. I have all of these shades. And again, I love this packaging. It does remind me of the Milani packaging just because of the gold. It's beautiful. And I like how it shows the color right here. And the only thing about these is they do kind of have a weird smell. Um, and I know a lot of it would probably bother a lot of people for me. Once it's on your lips, you can't smell it. Um, it's not like that strong, but definitely when you open it and if you're putting it on your lips, if you're very sensitive to, um, smells, then this one would probably bother you. But these are like a lipstick and it dries as like a gloss. It's very glossy when it dries. So I love, I love that because I feel like when you put a lipstick on, if you put a gloss over it to get that effect, it doesn't last very long and it can like wipe right off. Whereas these, like I will eat with these. Um, I wear them for like six to eight hours and they stay on really, really well. So I'll give you guys a couple swatches of these. It feels really nice on your lips. It's not, it doesn't feel um, sticky or like tight, you know, when you move your lips, <laughs> like it feels tight. It doesn't give you that kind of a feel, which is really nice. It's comfortable to wear. And like I said, they last a long time. So. Um, and as glossy as you see them on my hand, this is actually how glossy they'll stay on your lips pretty much. They are very, very glossy. And the color payoff, obviously on the darker ones, is really good. This one actually, this corally color, is one of my favorites. It's in the color Pink, Res yeah, Pink Resistance. 
and um, that one's really pretty just for every day, but it is a nice option to wear if you're not a big lip gloss person, you want something that's gonna be less um, maintenance and you're not gonna have to keep putting it on. These would be perfect for you, I love them. But as you can see, I just wiped off my hand and they're still like completely there without the gloss. So even when you eat and all of that, eventually if the gloss you know rubs off, then you're still gonna have some color left on your lips and it's not just gonna give you that like weird outline that some lipsticks can give you, so. The next lip product I wanna talk about are the Maybelline Lip Whispers and the packaging is like this. I think the packaging is really cute. Um, I only have three of these ones. I feel like these are really easy to put on. If you need a lipstick that you um, want to be able to put on without a mirror and feel pretty comfortable about it, these are wonderful. For whatever reason, you can pretty much tap them on and they come out really well. They're really easy to apply. Um, they're not like super silky that it's gonna be sliding all over the place, but they're also not so matte that you have to be so precise with the way you're applying it because if you're not, then you're gonna have stuff all over your face. It's, like I said, very smooth and they're a little sheer. They're just like slightly sheer. So that's one of the reasons why they're easy to put on. You can see that that one is a little bit sheer. When I move my hand, you can definitely see through it. So yeah, these are great and I definitely, definitely recommend these for drugstore lip products. For the next one, um, I would definitely say for the price and for the quality of these between those two things, these would be your best bet. If you're gonna go out and buy one drugstore lip product, um, this one is the bee's knees. These are the best lips. Dr uh, uh, <gasps> I think it just broke. We're cool. Okay, so. The products that I'm trying to talk about. That would be the Wet n Wild Matte Lipsticks. I have one, two, three, four, five, six shades. Seriously. Like I said, I have six shades in these. These are absolutely amazing. Um, let me swatch a couple for you. These have amazing, amazing color payoff. I'm actually wearing one on my lips right now, which is called Cherry Picking. It is in this shade. Um, the shade in the stick is definitely true to the shade on your lips. They're really smooth to apply. They dry completely matte. They stay forever. Um, I would definitely recommend using a lip liner with these, though you don't need one. There's some swatches for you. Um, you can see of definitely a good variety of colors. And when you put them on, you can see they're still a little glossy, but as soon as they dry, they are definitely matte, very highly pigmented, and these are my favorite, favorite drugstore lip products, and they're literally, like, I think they're $1.99. They're like $2. It's crazy. Moving on, so last for lip products, I have my Jordana Lip Liners. These are amazing. They last really long. You can actually apply these to, like, outline your lip and fill them in, and they're beautiful lipsticks as well. Um, they stay on forever. They don't bleed around your lips, so that's awesome. They definitely protect your lipstick from kind of getting out of the lines and smudging everywhere. And like I said, they go really, really well as just a lipstick if you wanna fill in your lips completely with a gloss over the top. They are very highly pigmented. I'll give you guys a couple swatches of these. But there's some swatches of those, super pigmented and wonderful, so I definitely recommend those. So some of my favorite eyeshadows are the Maybelline Color Tattoos. And I have one, two, three, four, five colors of these. I have this silvery one. I have like a maroony reddish tone. And then I have this one. It's called Barely Branded. This is a gray everyday color. Um, I have a blue one, which is good for nights out and fun looks like that. And then I also have um, this color, Bad to the Bronze, which I wear a ton. This is a beautiful, beautiful lid color. Um, the thing I love about these is, number one, you don't need a primer with them. They work as a primer on their own. Sometimes I will actually use this as my primer and then go over them with shadows um, over the top because they do not crease. They last forever. It kind of reminds me of like the matte um, paint, the matte, what? The MAC Painterly Paint Pots. They look very similar in, um, you know, consistency and the idea of it. So, and you can just do honestly a lot with these and they have a lot of great colors. So definitely, definitely recommend those. So moving on, another one of my favorite eye products is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows. And this is like a loose pigment, but these shadows, I cannot even tell you, these shadows are so stunning. If you like shimmer and that metallic lid look, you got, you need these, you absolutely need these. They are so beautiful, these are so pigmented. If you use these over the Maybelline color tattoos, it's absolutely insane. Like it looks like you have just like completely metallic lids. It's so intense. That is Iced Latte, and you can see how metallic it is. This one is in the color 
blinged and brilliant and they look kind of similar on camera but this one's definitely a lot more rose gold throughout the day once the eyeshadow is on it's not going to fall into your eye it's not going to end up all over your face so that's good i definitely recommend those next for eye products um one of my favorites is the baked collection by physicians formula and i have two of these you guys have seen this one probably in my videos a few times but it just has a nice kind of champagne color a light pink color and then like a maroony brown color and this one is in Baked Sweets. And then this one is Baked Sands. And this has more brown colors. It has like a gold coppery tone. And then that one, it's not supposed to have pink on it. That's from my lipstick because I like to highlight my Cupid's bow with it. But um, then it has that cream shade and then that deep brown shade. And these are just amazing. They um, are very highly pigmented. You can use them wet or dry. When you use them wet, I would definitely say they are a lot more pigmented. But I find using them dry is just fine, especially if you have um, like a cream shadow underneath or a eye primer. So um, I just really like the colors that these come in. They're all shimmery shades. None of them are matte but they look beautiful. So I don't really know what else to say about these other than the fact that they're awesome and I love them. Okay, two more eye products from the drugstore. I'm gonna go with my, you guys have seen this since day one on my YouTube channel. Um, it is my Wet n Wild Shimmer Eye Primer and it comes in a little tube like this. This thing has lasted me forever and it's not. It's like not even halfway gone. So I have gone through Urban Decay Potion Primer, Urban Decay Potion Primer. These are both almost empty. These are both $20, I think, 19 $99, $20 around there um, and I've gone through both of them. I love them. It was my holy grail. Could not live without until I found this baby. I'm telling you for this is like $3.29 or something at my Walgreens and it is I'm sorry to say this Urban Decay but this is just as good. Honestly it is. Um, the color of this is beautiful. I'll give you a swatch. This one's in the color A Little Party. I think they had more of a golder toned one I want to say and a nude one but I'm not positive this is the only one I bought there is a swatch of that it's so beautiful it's definitely shimmery keeps your eyeshadow from creasing so you can wear it under eyeshadow I wear under cream eyeshadows I honest I wear this every single day this is great as a brow highlight as well so um really great product super super cheap but yeah this is part of the Fergie collection go Fergie because this is the bomb so moving on to my favorite drugstore mascara I know you guys are gonna hate me I don't have a ton of drugstore mascaras. My favorite uh, mascara would be the Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. I'm losing my breath. <sighs> this one's in the waterproof one just because I don't have, for some reason I can't find my other one. Um, but this mascara is amazing. It's really more of like a natural, um, it gives more of a natural effect to your lashes. But if you put on three or four layers, if that's, you know, what you like, you can definitely, definitely build it up. Um, the thing I like most about this mascara is it does not clump. My lashes are very particular, like I'm sure a lot of people's are. Um, and if I use different types of mascara, my eyelashes are just like Bleh. So yeah, I need one that really separates and lets my lashes have their own space. So this is what the brush looks like. And as you guys can see, it's a big kind of fluffy brush, but it's definitely still structured and you can tell that it's definitely going to pull and, you know, stretch out and lengthen your lashes. It does give volume too because of the fluffy brush, um, especially if you kind of wiggle it right at the root. It'll give you that volume and then it just like lengthens your lashes. It doesn't um, fall under your eyes or smudge or anything like that. So I know that's really important to a lot of people. So I recommend this. Moving on to face products. Um, I will start out with... You guys have heard this, like I said, since day one on my YouTube channel, but my Garnier BB Cream, this stuff is amazing. It is so hydrating on your face. It's so lightweight. You don't feel anything at all. Um, it feels like your skin. It looks like your skin. The only thing with this is if you like a very high coverage type of um, foundation or BB cream, I wouldn't say that this one is high coverage. I would say you can build it up, but it's still, you're going to need some type of concealer or something over um your spots and under eye and stuff like that. It's not very full coverage, but it is very dewy and natural looking and that's why I love it. Another thing about this is that I think a lot of people dislike this product at first because they try to apply it with like a stippling brush or a foundation brush and the product is just, um, once you kind of rub it out, it's I think it's just a little too thin for that. Applying it with your fingertips is the way to go and it gives a really nice even um, coverage I think it's the best way to apply this so definitely for BB creams for drugstore this would be my number one 
So moving on to face powder from the drugstore. My favorite, favorite, all-time favorite one, and I've only um, pat I've only purchased this one package of it, but it is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I will definitely be repurchasing this. And the thing I like about these is you guys know I love my dewy finish, and with this, it has a very nice sheen to it. It's not shimmer and it's not glitter. It's just like a nice sheen. So I like that it doesn't totally, it doesn't make my face look flat at all. Um, it just gives a really nice finish. It definitely keeps um, my makeup on longer and it keeps my concealer from creasing. So I really love this. Um, I think it photographs beautifully and I would definitely recommend this. Moving on to bronzer. I'm including this bronzer because it's an e.l.f. bronzer. So you can't, the, this is the hard thing, you can't get it at like Walgreens or Rite Aid or anything like that, but most people do have a Target, so that's considered drugstore, so I'm going to mention it because Target does carry e.l.f. products. But it is the e.l.f. bronzer in the color Los Cabos, and it is this beautiful shade, it is shimmery, it definitely gives you that glowy effect. I shouldn't say shimmery, it's more of like a sheen. So there's a swatch of that, it's beautiful, beautiful. Um, I love this in the summer, it's amazing, and... It's just really smooth, it gives you a nice color, it's not too orange. That would be my number one drugstore bronzer. So my number one drugstore highlighter, this one's actually considered a bronzer, but I don't know anyone who is so light that they could use at least this color as a bronzer, but that is the Hard Candies Baked Bronzer in Tiki. And you can see mine is broken. It looks a lot, a lot, a lot darker on camera than it does in person. Okay, that's like an extreme swatch of it. But I use it as a highlight and I have loved this forever. Even though I use it every day, it was still lasting me very long. This thing is humongous. Um, I don't think I was really going to run out of it anytime soon. But yeah, this is very smooth. It stays on. It has a great, great shimmer. It really highlights well. And I think this is a great drugstore product. So since NYX is being carried in Target now, or in a lot of Targets, I thought I guess I could include them. I'm really sorry if you guys don't have a Target or if your Target doesn't include NYX. Um, but I know obviously you can get NYX offline too and it's drugstore prices. So even if you can't just run to the drugstore and get it, it's still drugstore prices. So I thought I would include it. So I have the color Peach and I have the color Desert Rose. They're really pigmented. Um, the packaging is cute and they're like four bucks or something a piece. The thing about these is that they are so pigmented that they will last you forever. So they do last a long time on your face. They give you a nice um, wash of color and they're not they're not matte but they have no shimmer in them so that is always a plus to me if it can give me a little bit of that glow without any glitter or shimmer. So those would be my favorite blushes. Guys I think this is my last product. It is. This is my last product and you guys already know about it. You've heard too much about it already, but it is my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is a wonderful concealer. It's It doesn't um, crease under your eyes. It has very high coverage, but it's not too thick. It's very, very blendable, and you can definitely get a lighter shade and get away with using it as like a highlight. It's beautiful. I love everything about this. I think this is... Um, Probably better than some high-end concealers, to be completely honest. I really, really love this one, and I would feel very comfortable recommending this to absolutely anybody. Um, I think oily or, you know, dry skin, either way, I think this would work. Number one drugstore concealer right there. So, yeah, guys, that is absolutely it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I get blabbing a little bit. Um, I get really excited about telling you guys about these products, and I feel like I just get, like, on a ramble. So I'm sorry about that. But, yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!